Yo, what's going on you guys? And we're showcasing the new Yomi Yomi fruit in GPO. It came on the latest update, update 5. Alright, so Yomi Yomi, it's the revive fruit. It's what Brook uh, Soul King is using. Now, to unlock all of the moves, there's actually a decent amount of moves. You need at least 120 points in Devil Fruit. I have 160 because I actually kind of want to use this as a damage source. But yeah, we're going to go through all the moves. Alright, so first off we have Chilling Soul. Now, Chilling Soul, it's just going to be your E button. All it does, it sends out this like AoE area around you, this AoE shockwave, and it stuns or freezes, uh, you know, people, NPCs. Actually, not bad. Uh, you have Soul Form where you exit yourself and you can like kind of control it to, uh, you know, you can control it with your mouse to determine where it goes. It also does freeze damage and but you know the damage isn't too high it's in about like 20 uh, after that we have skedaddle it's a pretty pretty funny <laughs> move so you know if you're trying to like run away from someone you know you can just skedaddle out of there it does drain your stamina however so as you hold it it does drain your stamina after skedaddle we have soul assault it's just i assume it's something you hold and you know it's a little short quick combo right Oh, and Yomi also has like mouse one, you know, you just mouse one, get some damage off right there. Yeah. Here, I'm going to use Deftified. So Deftified, once you use it, the second, you know, you're going to uh, a second chance at life. So let me start hitting these other NPCs so they can uh, kill me. But yeah, now once you press it, you'll get this message at the top of your screen. So once you get knocked out, you'll get revived with a third of your health and full stamina, which is actually pretty handy. Like in PvP, it's kind of like a last resort, last chance kind of thing. However, since you are one third of your health, you're going to be um, pretty slow. So that's quite unfortunate. But we're going to wait for these guys to knock me out. Almost there. Alright, I got getting knocked out right here. There we go, they're gonna knock me out. I got revived, look at that. Or not. Uh, I'll get back to that. Alright, let's, uh, let's try this one more time. As you can see, the message is back up here. It's telling me I already casted the ability. Alright. I got killed, okay, there we go, I got revived, but I'm still dead. Okay, so I assume you don't get revived if, you know, NPCs are still attacking you. However, for example, let's say you get knocked, someone, t you know, leaves you alone for like two, three seconds, you'll get revived. But I guess if they keep continuously attacking you, you will not get revived, so... Uh, that's quite a shame. Alright, so I guess we know how that properly works now. And let's show you guys the last move, the Soul King Roar. Now this, this is the most strong, the strongest move that this even has. You know, the fruit even has. Pretty good actually, I like it. And it looks insane. So let's collect these zombies out, then we're going to press C. It's going to summon this large Soul King. And just roar send out this shockwave now it is great aoe damage like these guys they got to about a quarter of their health left but the only thing is that when you do use this fruit it does eat up a good amount of your stamina and it does not and you're still vulnerable while casting so while you're you know having the roar go off they can still like block it and they can still attack you but overall i uh I like the fruit. I'd say it's pretty cool. It looks sick too. I'm loving the green. But yeah, this has been the Yomi Yomi Showcase. If you guys are ever curious in eating the fruit, you can just watch this. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.